What's going on guys? Cletus Stone here. Um, today we're going to be showing you how to rollerize the rear output shift in case on a 4 lady e transmission. Um, it's a very good modification to do them. Um, I'm going to explain to you why and what parts you need to do. Alright guys, so you need three major parts to be rollerizing the rear output shift in a 4 lady e uh, Main one, turbo 350 pump bearing. You need a rear end plate shim kit and a turbo 400 extra capacity case pushing which I already have pre-installed into my trans um, we're going to try to get you some links in the description if you guys would like to purchase these online if you don't want to go searching through the internet forums and all that for alright guys so now for the rear case down here I already um, pre-disassembled and pre-installed for time's sake of the video but uh, this is a turbo 400 case bushing um, it's a lot wider than the factory 4 lady e bushing um, it also has the grooves in it for oiling and all that, um, which is nice to extra capacity bushing essentially. Um, what we do here is there's a, there is an output seal and a snap ring that's removed for the video. Um, when we push this in, press the bushing in, we press it out um, just enough inside the case for the shim and the roll rise bearing to ride on. Um, it kind of centers it and keeps everything good to go once you set your whole rear gear train in the case. So basically what we have here is the factory 480E rear output chip bushing. Um, as you can see, it's really thin. Um, there's no oiling grooves or anything in the bushing. Um, they're also known to spin and walk out um, of the case bushing. So there's lots, a lot of builders, if they use the factory, they'll stake them uh, or they get the no um, twist out bushing. Um, this is also, we have here, is the factory rear end plate shim. Um, it sits in the bottom of the case in all four ADEs. It has the three tang washers that locate it in the bottom there. And here is the factory bronze four tang um, output shift thrust washer. Um, this washer, it sits on the bottom of the output shift in uh, these four tangs right here. And obviously when the output shift is spinning, this is spinning on this thrust washer. Um, obviously it's a metal to metal um, contact. Um, they obviously don't hurt them in stock forms, but in a high performance application, is a lot nicer to use a Torrington rollerized bearing. Alright guys, so now I'm going to show you exactly how it locates inside the case itself. Give you a quick idea of it. Um, like I said before, you want to put your rear end plate shim in first. It's going to locate on that bushing right there and it won't walk around it. And then the 350 pump bushing, or pump bearing, sorry, um, black side always down. And then once it locates, it's locked in. And then once you're ready, once you get your rear uh, reverse band in there and all that, you can go ahead and set the whole gear chain down on it. And you have a rear rollerized case. Pretty simple.